scientist said, the ice and the storms and the disease were all connected to our changing climate. My parents told me that I'm a miracle. That was the last thing they said, that I'm a miracle. Because of my immunity to the disease. When the animals died, most of the plants went too. The disease got everything, except for me. So I was alone. My parents told me to find the beacon. Because that's where other survivors might go. lost and scared. The wind got to me. I stopped looking for the beacon. Figured it didn't matter anyway. Doesn't look like anyone else survived this. The world disappeared under the ice and storm. Like magic. Everything was gone. And now I live in this hut. Maybe it was a miracle I found it. I think someone kept all this stuff to help them survive. You know, when the ice and storms and disease hit. There are clothes, food, a science textbook and a load of seeds. I think they wanted to start new life. Whoever it was, they seemed to know what they were doing. I plant one new seed every day. Different soil types, sunlight, and wind exposure. I get fish from a frozen over river a couple of miles away from my hut. The textbook is for ninth grade, but I was in third grade when the disease hit. But I kept reading till I got it. seed, different soil, now I understand what the book is saying, but understanding the plants doesn't make them, Sometimes when I wake up, I'm not sure what is real and what's in my head. Some miracle this is. Mm -hmm. 
if a harmful substance gets into the soil, air, or water, it may be passed from one living thing to another. All living things are sensitive to changes in their surroundings. My survival feels more like a joke. Maybe miracles only look that way because there's so much bad in the first place. Miracles happen all the time. They wouldn't be called miracles.